everybody, a very warm welcome back to What's For Tea or if you're new, a warm welcome to you also and if you like what you see, why not subscribe and give the video a wee thumbs up just on your way out. So thank you very much guys for coming back and checking what we bought for the, you know, the shopping this week. We went to Aldi and we also picked up a few bits and bobs from Tesco. So in Aldi we spent just over £50 when we were about five or six pounds in Tesco so a bit on the cheaper side this week so I seem to have got loads for the money though. You know it's quite a big shop or looks like quite a big shop because I had to check the receipt again. I said is that right? But yeah so just over £50 in Aldi and we got like I said quite a lot of stuff for that so yeah I'm very happy about that. That's one of the things about Aldi they do tend to be a wee bit cheaper than you know other shops because we went to Morrison's a few weeks ago and just got our usual bits and bobs and it was about 70 or 80 pounds so yeah that just shows you the difference so yeah so I'm just going to show you what we got in this week's shop now this is the bulk of our shop but we do shop for like milk and things like that daily as we need it so there you are 51 49 we've also got a, you know a, f a chest freezer full of bread and bread products that kind of thing so first of all, I picked up this big bag of porridge oats. Now that's only 65p and a bag of bagels. But again, I've got a few bags of these in the chest freezer in the garage. I just like to top up. And I got a couple of blocks of butter. <laughs> I got one salted and one unsalted. That's 149 each. The price of butter, as mentioned, you know, to somebody else today. I was talking to somebody about that. It just seems to be going up all the time. The usual yogurts. And I got a carton of milk, that's two litres. I got four bottles of this flavoured water. This is lovely, actually. They do a few different flavours. I like the peach one as well. I picked up a head of broccoli because this goes with anything. You can put this in anything at all. Lovely in a stir fry, actually. And that's what we're having tonight, stir fry. Picked up these six rolls as well because I think we're going to be having a burger tomorrow. A pack of tomatoes, as you'll know by now, we do love our tomatoes. Somebody was asking, you know, how many do you cook for? I think I've mentioned it before, a three pack of large onions. Usually it's just the four of us and occasionally it'll be just me and Mr. What's for Tea. A pack of sweet peppers and a big stir fry mix there. And occasionally Mr. What's for Tea's mother will come round and there'll be five of us. But sometimes it is just me and him, it just depends. Now, a couple of bags of salad because we're having a salad as well. This one was uh, there's some money off this one because it needs to be used, so that'll be getting used first. And a big bag of carrots. This a kilo of carrots, and it's only fifty nine p. You really can't fault their prices for fruit and veg. And I've got a trio of mixed peppers for ninety one p. An usual pack of blueberries. These are nice, just so we snack or on top of cereal or something. I thought this looked quite interesting. This ravioli, it's uh, ricotta and basil, and this will be enough for four of us by the time I get the sauce and the side and the bread and everything. I picked up a smoked pork sausage. I thought this might be quite nice in a stir fry as well, or in a salad. Something I haven't had for ages. I just fancied some peanut butter. And this was an offer, this is only 69 pence, and I love my chilli, so I had to pick that up. And then I fancied some olives as well. Nobody in the house likes green olives, but I love them. And that again with the pickled onions, nobody else likes them apart from me. I love pickled onions, and, in, and you know, in particular, these ones are amazing. I picked up a bottle of soy sauce because we were completely out. And this was requested by somebody else in the house. Now, I tend to make my own, but I'm just not going to have time this week. So I got the jar and she can make it herself and I'm not here. Four tons of chopped tomatoes. I got this beef for the stir fry. And hiding at the back there was actually a jar of hot dogs, which was also asked for. I don't like hot dogs, but they're there for whoever wants them. A pack of bacon because I'm not going to get to the butcher this week either. Some broccoli and cauliflower for florets. <laughs> a pack of pork sausages. Like I said, I'm not going to be able to get to the, the butcher this week, so I just picked up what I needed in Aldi. This pizza looks amazing. You know, it's absolutely huge. It's one of their sort of posher ranges, and it's only £1.65. 
and this will be perfect for sitting, you know, sitting in front of the TV watching a movie with the three or the four of us, you know, you have get four generous slices out of that. And I'm also going to be making cinnamon, cinnamon rolls. So I picked up these um, pizza doughs. In fact, I might show you how I'm making that actually when I do it. A bag of Ayrshire potatoes. These are lovely. They've got such a distinctive flavour. But unfortunately, you know, you can only get them here. But they are lovely. And I got a couple of packs of meat from Tesco. So I got some roast beef and I got some ham. This is for a wee salad during the week. Or to go along with a salad, I should say. These wee Kilmarnock pies. Mr. What's for Tea loves so he'll, he'll take these into work and stick them in the fridge and probably have these at lunchtime. Or not both of them on the same day, but one one day and one another day. <laughs> and then again, same with these things as well. These are perfect just for a wee lunch at work. I don't like it, but everybody else in the house does. And these are the baked potatoes that I use. These are brilliant just for convenience and they always come out lovely and fluffy. Somebody was asking, you know, how do you do your potatoes? And that's them. <laughs> My usual all-purpose surface wipes, and these got a lovely, you know, fragrance of them. Mr. Muscle, this is for the, the plug holes and the drains. And we forgot to pick up cat food in Tesco, so I've picked the, this up for Jasper, so we'll see how he likes this. And I also got some bin bags because I was completely out. And some cheese puffs, because again, these are handy just to pop into your bag to take to work or if you're on the go or going to be in the car for a wee while. So yeah, so I think that was it. I don't think I'm, I, I missed anything out this week because generally there'll be a comment in the, the you know, the, the comment section. So oh, you forgot to mention this or you forgot to mention that. So I think it only was the hot dogs that I forgot to mention. Like I said, they were um, requested. So those will remain in the cupboard until those are eaten. <laughs> Because I haven't got any hot dog rolls or anything, so I've no idea why they've been requested. But hey ho, you do what you can. So thank you again, guys, for popping over and seeing what's going on. You know, I really do appreciate it. I love having you here. I love reading your comments, you know, and the, the returners as well. You know, I do recognise you by name now. So I always get a wee chuckle at some of your comments. Some of you are quite funny and quite witty. <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> But yeah, like I said, I just love reading them. It means so, so much. You know, this is just a wee hobby to me. It's something that I love to do. You know, I, I like filming the videos. I love editing the videos and I like doing my wee voiceovers. And enough time goes by, I probably will appear more on screen. And certainly by the end of the year, I'm going to be doing a wee sort of Christmas message when it comes around. It's not that far away. That's us halfway through the year already. So yeah, I'm thinking about getting on doing a wee Christmas message for you guys as well. Just saying hello and thank you for all your support throughout the year. Because like I said, it does mean an awful lot that you take the time to not only watch and thumbs up the video or thumbs it down but you know you take the, the time to comment as well and your comments are just lovely 99% of you you're absolutely smashing and I do really appreciate it so I'm going to leave you now because I'm rambling again I think half of my videos is 90% rambling and 10% recipe <laughs> but never mind I'm just a bit of a blather so yeah, so I'll be back on Sunday as usual for Meals of the Week. So I started off on uh, Monday, yep, all the way through. Well, it will be all the way through till Sunday. So hopefully I'll see you back for that. So until then, guys, mind to take care of yourselves. And from our house in Scotland to you, wherever you are in the world, lots of love and bye for now. Bye now. <laughs>